welcome all of you today we are going to study about the pleurum disease it is mostly found in the young chicken up to two to three weeks of age and topic that we are going to address are the causes of the disease and the sign and symptom associated with the disease and postmortem lesion associated with the disease and finally the treatment protocol or preventive measures and uh, to discuss about the cause it is caused by bacteria and the bacteria is salmonella pleurum and uh, it is characterized by heavy mortality now to discuss about the transmission and how it, how does it transmit between the birds uh, it is a um, widespread in transmission and uh, it is heavily contagious uh, the, and uh, it is spread by touch and uh, it is spread by the um, contaminated fecal material along with contaminated water and poultry equipment and uh, another uh, another quite unique feature with this disease is that it is trans transmitted by vertical transmission when the hen lay eggs the, the bacteria are transmitted along with eggs and when the chick finally as as from the egg the, the, these uh, bacteria can be seen in the chicks and um, uh, these bacteria cause heavy mortality in when the chicks develop at the age of two to three weeks and the susceptible age are as we discussed earlier below the three weeks of age and peak mortality occurs at two to three weeks of age and the signs associated with this disease are quite unique and you can identify with this signs and the first sign is this um, white diarrhea white diarrhea in the young young chicks and the sign is that the vent is swollen an additional sign include of uh, gather um, crowded crowded in small space the chicks can be seen in crowded in small space and another is the breathing difficulty in chicks which is com further complicated by the um, inflammation of hind joints and the um, what uh, particular characteristics can we see in the postmortem the postmortem of uh, uh, postmortem of heart and uh, the gizzard reveals of these uh, you can see with the arrows in the grayish white nodules in heart gizzard and the lungs along with the liver liver also can be seen with the uh, grayish whitish nodules in the coronic cases the heart at um, at perigardium will be thickened by the nodular lesions and another prominent feature can be seen in the ureters ureters are filled with ureter urets which uh, makes the the uh, white diarrhea in uh, treatment although the, there is no specific treatment for this uh, disease uh, the um, prevention is better than cure is widely accepted in here also the uh, first uh, let's we go for treat prevention they are for preventing this disease they are always um, Chickens, chicks should be al always bring from the reliable hatchery where the incidence of pleurodrum had not been recorded and the contaminated feed, water and litter uh, can be the source of pleurodrum infection so they should be monitored wisely and the, uh, the eggs also contains the, the, um, the bacteria so this disinfection of eggs is widely recommended and the another is competitive exclusion it's like a probiotic Yes, um, the competitive treatment reduces the incidence and magnitude of salmonella colonization in the poultry. And you can see that the treatment of uh, from intestinal or fecal material from the board uh, will uh, from the board or on and by airway culture derived from the source material will be uh, diminish the colonization and subsequent subsequent invasion to internal tissue by salmonella. And the cultures uh, can be used of uh, various bacteria as shown here it has lactobacillus hysteria which are probiotic in nature and the filling with the various carbohydrate and median um, fatty acid could um, uh, could uh, could enhance the CE treatment in prevention of the salmonella um, this gist of this is that probiotics is very useful in uh, preventing the colonization by the salmonella bacteria and they should be used um, um uh, in the six growing process 
and antibiotic whatever antibiotic so as antibiotic is uh, fluoroquinolones are reco recommended and the indrofluxacin is widely recommended but um, in some ins instances for antibiotic admission has actually increased susceptibility of salmonella infection by suppressing the growth of other competitive or innovative microbial as we discussed in earlier so the antibiotic as we see that the treatment with the antibiotic seems little to or no value because it tend to suppress the growth of good bacteria and further deteriorate the condition of the diseases and it is recommended that proper uh, pro probiotic or CA treatment should be administered however antibiotic with vitamin can be used according to the gravity of situation or the condition of the birds and in the recent years genetic uh, antibiotic resistance salmonella outbreak is traced back to the chicken farming so uh, heavy antibiotic uses are not recommended at all